So for this video, I wanted to just demo some of the piano sounds that the 235 can do and just give you a variation of just the first five voices, grand piano, bright, a touch of harpsichord at one point I'll show you, a honky tonk piano, and midi grand. So some people might be interested in getting one of these, they don't know the piano sound you can really get out of it, or some people might just use the first one or two piano sounds and not realize kind of some of the combinations you can do because you can really get this to sound like a good piano so one of the things I want to also point out is that I'm, my voice is going to come through the onboard mic on the camera but the sound of the piano is being shot straight through a computer so I'm going to overlay that in so you don't hear it from the speakers you hear exactly how it should sound I tried it both ways and it seems like when it comes into the camera you're really just picking up the crappy microphone on the camera. So straight to the point, uh, grand piano, the sound you can kind of get, I'm, I'm gonna play a little bit of each piano. That's the grand piano sound, the bright piano sound. bit of the bright piano sound you can get out of it. This, uh, the harpsichord I don't usually play, it, it's, but I'll show you what you can do with it in a minute. The honky tonk piano, it's got a little more of a, well, right here. MIDI piano, this has a great, just a great softness to it. This is one of my favorite ones on here. If you play it louder. It's real good for soft. Great sound. You got. You think you just have those first couple pianos. All we did was use four of the five first sounds, but you can combine all of these, and you can adjust the volume levels of each, the reverb levels of each. So here's just a couple of things I like to do. Grand piano mixed with the MIDI piano gives you that softness, but you're also getting the feel of the grand piano, so you get, it's a great combination. Here, without the MIDI, with. It's just, it's just wonderful sound.
that harpsichord that I passed by, it's to me, it's not a favorite sound to use by itself. But if you take your grand piano and you put a dual layer of the harpsichord, and this is where all the, the nuances, the little subtle things you can do. Flat out dual, it's a little harsh. So I go into functions and I lower that dual level all the way down to about 25. But I put the reverb of it all the way up to 80. Now suddenly, kind of get this, you get this nostalgic old feet here, something like this. I just think that's a lot of fun to mix with, especially if you're playing something like that, just old sound. It just it just works. I don't know, at least for me. Um, another dual I like, and these are, I'm just showing you duels starting with the grand piano as the first one. Remember, you can invert all of these so that whatever the second one is is now the forefront and the other one's just mingling in a little. If you dual layer the grand piano and the bright piano together, so just one and two, and just, I'll just leave it at generic how it wanted to mix them. It just adds a little sharpness to the grand piano. So if I drop it off for a second, grand piano, now add that bright to it. same style. I'll use grand piano as the forefront of it, but I'll mingle it with honky-tonk piano. So, again, without. With. first layer and for dual layer go to the honky tonk piano now you've got a real sharp piano variations you can do with the piano just using the first five sounds and you have to keep in mind every single one of them you can adjust the volume level of the master sound and the dual sound the reverb of each the chorus effect of each so there's 
I don't know what the math is, but it's pretty darn close to infinite amount of sounds I think you can get out of that. And that's only the first five, because down the line of this, there are even more pianos that are more synthesized type sounds. And so you have all of those to work with and combine. So in my opinion, with all the combinations you can do and all, all of the subtle nuances and adjustments you can make, I really think you can get a great piano sound out of this keyboard.